Guys, LEGO and everything is fun, but we have something very cool going on right now. Uh, we are moving one of those cases that you have seen in previous vlogs. We got a few things like this, check it out. So these are essentially suction cups. You can see we have this massive cabinet. It's super heavy, like 300 pounds. And this thing needs to go to that room, to the display room. I gotta say that is a challenging project because it's a super expensive case and we don't wanna break it. So if something happens, it's gonna be on camera. <laughs> We're gonna try to grip it like that way. So like each person on each side of the cabinet, we're gonna bloop, lift it, get it to the dolly, and then try to deliver it to the other room. I can see this one, I can see this working perhaps. We'll see, but I think it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. Ready. Wish us luck. This is gonna be scary. It's too cold. Ugh. Okay, better work. To the camera, everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> super I'm happy. like super happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it worked. We didn't crack. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. Hey guys, it worked. It wasn't my idea, but I. It took me a while to figure out like somebody who knew how to move this stuff. And they're like, you need suction cups. Yeah, these like, are crazy. Ah. These are like super high quality, <laughs> like heavy Yeah, yeah. Stuff. They're pricey too. It's like 50 bucks a pop. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> we got like eight of them. Cool. Yeah. I'll unlock it. I like the sound. Like. Yeah, isn't it cool? Guys, so this is like one of the first um, display cases that we're gonna use. You can expect this room to be filled with these at some point. At least one type of case that's gonna work for our... Oh, look at that. Hey, it actually works. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so it has LED lights and stuff. It's very fancy, like a jewelry case almost. So each shelf will host a selection of mocks or minifigures or whatever we find fitting in there and it's gonna be a nice display. Nicely lit from all angles. I'm so glad it didn't break. It was like, it's 300 pounds, believe it or not. Got more glass shelves. Yeah, it's gonna look really awesome if I can fill the wall. So we have like a line of those, a line of those. And the oven, like, you know, with lights and stuff in the middle. Cool story, Charlie. We're back to editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a nice break from editing. Let's see what Jack is working on. Cobra video, yeah! Yeah, so that's the thing. Guys, I'm almost done with the mocks. Just gonna put your mocks into it so everybody's happy. But that's, that's yeah, that's, that's about it, that's the timeline. Exporting in a sec. Let's do it. We're getting some Spider-Man sets today. Alrighty, let's go. To the Batmobile. I mean, to the studio. Yep, to the studio. So, whoa. I kind of want to check out that Venom set. It looks really cool. I wanted to build it since ever since I saw the first pictures of it. <laughs> Stop spending so much money on coffee. Look what I got! Yeah! Look at that! Yeah. We're streaming! Streaming for the first, first time! time in like five years now! Like in at least two months, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we got all of this, so that's good. Oh man, I can't wait to build these junior sets, not this thing. Alright, good luck. We got 55 seconds. Okay, sweet. Spider Man boy! You're gonna sneak up on Ramon. Boom! Ah, uh, you ah. didn't get me that time. <laughs> yeah. He's been getting me like off camera all the time. I think everyone. I have to yeah, you can't show that. Well, I think I think of, uh, like you, Jack, and even Charlie by accident have been getting oh, we me did. off camera several times. We are times. terrible at not We just things. haven't recorded it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making stuff. I'm doing stuff. I can't show you the stuff. Don't look at this stuff either. I just realized yeah. the stuff's there. Keep it up. Yeah. The audience was on ask, how's Ramon doing? So, I'm here, I'm always here. I never leave. I live here now. We have a shower. Your sleeping bag? <laughs> I, I like to wrap it up, you know, keep things clean. Venom one looks cool. Actually, I like the uh, the beautiful face. I mean, look at that. It's really cool. And I think the second best I like the um, the most is the um, the spider. This thing actually like close, you can see like yeah. It's really a cool function. I wish they had used it in the um, Scout Walker from Star Wars, the, the one, the first order one. That might have worked a bit better than, than the actual set. So this is the Charlie's HA1, AH1Z Viper, right? 
what it's the first time we're doing uh, a thing with stickers you can see this is a test run what we did I designed like a, a set of stickers for the Viper with two different actual real-life squadrons that will be available as a downloadable file uh, with the purchase of your instructions and Charlie did a really good job on designing this uh, right here in Brickworld Studio yeah just look at that table I mean this is kind of everything we've done so far I think in our web store it's a kind of like a preparation for this room being a display room so we're seeing how much mocks we have how many mocks we have and to what we want to display it's a mix of Star Wars it's a mix of uh, there is Horizon Zero Dawn the Thunderjaw uh, some of the Mad Max builds that we are super happy with there is the small uh, Back to the Future uh, DeLorean awesome uh, in Hurt with the um, N1 Naboo Starfighter some really cool stuff here. I think that Thunder Joe looks awesome. So this is like a table, just as an inventory check. What we have, what we need to display, and so on and so on. This is the Yavin that you guys know of. Um, not many updates. Um, maybe just gonna put some few things in the vlog that we've been working on. Um, still, still a bunch of things that we're gonna plan to put in Yavin. But uh, this is the preliminary setup of the base space we have there's a lot of them actually i have a massive box of these it's like 120 something base space in this one some of the, these are being used right now um, this is the preliminary this um, section or just the type of build that we use that charlie is using to get those um, cables running under the display you can see that looks like that and those colorful bricks right there are the measurements for the temple's wall so no update yet because this looks like a mess right it's just measurements trying things out uh, ordering bricks in the meantime there is this um edge piece that charlie is going to be using for like splitting the temple against the jungle and so on and so on so this is a much uh, more of a in progress project of course and the next update because you've been asking the next um, let's say vlog number three about the yavin will happen once you know we get some trees in those are the mar marking posts for the trees we get some walls built and then uh, when it looks different we're gonna be able to do an update for now it's just a bunch of like sorting things out getting bags of bricks like these guys there are like thousands of grill plates in here that's gonna be eventually doing those lines along the yavin uh, base um, elements and so on and so on the a-wings are here already you can see those yeah look at that I mean so it's a mess but it's like it's a good mess it's a it's a working project in ro work in progress mess right so we like that kind of mess because things are getting done and those updates cannot happen without some real work put into it and many of you were asking if the Falcon will make it to the, to the Yavin base. Yes, of course. I mean, come on, right? So there is no reason not to include him. We want to make sure this thing has a proper, good, highlighted spot in the base. Probably going to maybe fit it with some lights. We'll see. But the Falcon will be in the base at some point. Uh, probably somewhere in the front. But you guys should wait for the next update video, which will be happening as soon as we get those walls going, right? And what I'm working on today is uh, this thing. You guys probably have seen it already, but this is the Iron Man collection. Woo, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh. Well, you don't see that every day. It's raining in San Diego, pretty heavy. Flood warning, so. It's so rare you gotta film it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Vader's Castle, everybody. Good set, I want to build it so bad. Oh, I like the box. I would say that is a perfect set for a rainy day. Just came from Amazon, we pre-ordered it. Part of Star Wars, I think this one is one of the coolest looking ones, definitely. Alright, let's get it done, let's get the review out, alright? Alright, so this one is done. This one's pretty cool, actually. Review should be up uh, by now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's a great set. Check it out. So yeah, we changed the paper with the decals. I think it's a bit... Yeah, it's really cool actually, look at that. So you don't see the, the cuts in the paper, the foil that we use for stickers. Only if you look from like a very high angle, you can see the paper, but overall it's pretty transparent. I like it.
All right, guys, and with that being said, that's gonna be it for this brick vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you very much. Uh, if you wanna support us again, take a look at the web store www.brickvault.toys. We keep pumping out some really awesome mocks, and that keeps the channel going. So if you wanna see more content, uh, support is much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was Mike, Jack, Ramon, and Charlie was there, I think, some point maybe, uh, and that's his model by far. All right, thanks so much, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you enjoy our vlogs and our other content. Take a look at all the links below. See you in the next one. Bye.